Hey traders, T. Bradley 90 here. For those who do not know, Alex took on the challenge recently of seeing how much he can grow a $30,000 account in 30 trading days and the results are in and he made $84,000 in less than 30 trading days, which turned his $30,000 account into $113,000. Alex recently put together a free mentorship course with his mentor, Bao, explaining exactly how he did this. The link is available at myinvestingclub.co slash Alex. There's limited seating every single week, so be sure to reserve your spot. As a very special gift to our YouTube viewers, I want to announce something very special. This is my personal phone number, my personal number that I am putting out to you guys. If you have any questions about joining MIC or on the fence about joining our wonderful club, you can contact me now directly and personally, and I will get back to you. So this was a, I think this one was on Friday. Um, this was a fun trade. Like this is one of my all time, like personal favorite trades, even though they don't come around very often. Um, it, it's the end of day squeeze play. And I, I literally waited for CPAH um, all day, like all day. Like you see, I didn't trade it all day. Well, this isn't all day, but I, I mean, just to get a close on, oops, crap. just to get a close up of the thing I, I couldn't show all day, but um, I, I basically waited for this all day, like for this end of day trade. You know, so anyway, so that was CPAH. It was a huge loaded short. Um, the borrows were super easy and it was a really small market cap. I'm going to get into that later. Um, ADAP. I don't normally show P and L, but I, I wanted to on this one to kind of like show that like I had two backside scalps that added this kind of fucked up loss. I really underestimated the range on this stock. And if you, if you've been an MIC long enough, you kind of hear, you'll hear me talk about this. This is the reason why I don't short stocks under $2 two dollars because for me it's the easiest to underestimate the range when a when a trader underestimates the range that's the stock anyway and so like adap day two um so this was a washout long and i called this one in chat prior because i felt like this is a trade that um i felt like this is a trade that could not be followed or replicated that's not the word i'm looking for but easily understood as the way i was trying to say it. like you know, like I call this, I'm like, hey, I'm looking to get a washout pre-market levels, right? Um, it, it seems like a good washout because it's a gap up. And like, like, like in my large cap webinars, I like to buy washouts on gap ups. Same thing for, for small caps too. Basically, the idea is a lot of shorts are underwater and they're going to be looking to take advantage of the first dip. Buyers know this and it's kind of self-fulfilling. Buyers like to take Basically, this is a breakdown trade. It's kind of like a trend, trend change when the stock turns from bullish to bearish. And this stock had a bigger float and high volume, and I'm going to get into that later. But I basically, I mean, this is just a, a, a quick, you know, VWAP short, um, covered at support, simple, simple. You know, when I enter, it's easy 45 to 50 risk. You know, I, it's easy to risk off that. If I'm going to get stuffed out, I can re-enter, Right. I, I, I love, like, you'll notice a common theme on my trading. I love trading stocks with easy risk. Like, I, I, don't, I don't like trading if, if, if it's really, if it's a hard risk to figure out. Oh. And, dude, VLTC, like, dude, do you remember that shit? That's, yeah. That was four years ago, dude. Four years ago. How long have we been doing this shit? Dude, five even. Dude, that was 2015. We're coming up on five. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, dude! Fuck, dude! That you—that was the one that like really fucking got everyone, dude. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. The Carl Icahn news, like his uh, yeah. what was it? Like his his son or brother or some shit that was like investing, investing in, the company. in it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, this is the shit that we saw, man. We're like dinosaurs out here. <laughs> Tw I remember, dude. Seventy-five cents to twenty-one dollars. Yeah. Yep, dude. Wow. Anyway, so you guys have any questions? Yeah. It doesn't have to pertain to the webinar either. Yeah, if it's about Dragon Ball Z or video yeah, games. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Do you play Xbox often or like video games or anything like that? No, dude, I only play the Nintendo 64, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Classic. Vegeta is my favorite character. I have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot coming tomorrow, so going to be excited to play that one. I think I've had every single Dragon Ball Z game that's ever come out, ever. 
What? Bud- Budokai, dude. PlayStation. Dude, Budokai was my first video game I've ever got. Dude, dude the best ever. <laughs> best ever. Oh, my God. Punch, punch, just, punch like... kick, kick, E. What? Punch, punch, kick, kick, energy. <laughs> Sensu being in there, too. <laughs> oh, that was so cheap. Yeah, dude, that was bullshit. I think they got rid of that after the next game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the float rotation, I'm confused as why it's a strong sign. If the entire float rotates, 3 million float trades 30 million. Wouldn't that mean that any small crack will put everyone underwater and make the stock more likely to crater? Um, you want to talk about this, Austin? This is actually... Yeah. Um, wouldn't that mean that there's any that any small crack would put anyone underwater? Um uh not necessarily like because it, it the only people who get put underwater when a stock cracks are the people who bought over the stock right so i mean a, the typical float rotation play is nearly always at highs all the time so when a stock cracks most of most longs are probably green but the point of float float rotation is that mo, like the the theory is that nobody's in the stock like there are no bag holders really either direction because everybody's pretty fresh right that's the idea between flow rotation is you always have fresh buyers and sellers not it's it's like the opposite of what bag holders are yeah it's like it's like even the vltc is like a perfect example of that you could see i remember it was like a nano flow it was the flow was like nothing but every day it was trading 10 times the flow 20 times the flow so every short that was shorting at four dollars when the stock went to $6, they were toast. And then the next day, the stock went to $8. And then that new level of shorts that are shorting at 4 6 8 yeah, 10 They're all new. Those, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So anytime you see a stock rotating its float, I would say maybe more than like, what do you think, like four or five times, it starts five to look times. a little bit. Yeah, it yeah. starts to look a little bit sketchy. And if you see anything, I mean, there's been certain stocks that have rotated like fucking a hundred times. Like the floats one million, and they trade like ninety-eight million shares in a day or something. Outrageous. Then you know, yeah, that's exactly. like a hundred percent. Everybody's fresh. Correct, correct. So shit like that. I mean, most of these big-time short squeezes, like the DGLY, the dries, AWX, is when uh, stock rotates its float like abnormally, and there's like. What was that? I think the guy who was short BPTH was short fucking at like, what was it, like $11 or something or like something, fuck, I can't remember, but I think he was short 800,000 shares and the float was like a million shares or something like that. So he was essentially the float and he got fucking stuck, so. Hey traders, T Bradley 90 here, Tosh Bradley from My Investing Club Chat. Just wanted to reach out to you personally and show you how to contact myself personally if you have any questions about joining MIC, about MIC in general, or are on the fence and need a little bit of guidance before you join. For the first time ever, I have put out my personal number for you to reach me directly among my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com and our Twitter and IG handles. Reach out today and get any information you need on what makes MIC so great and why you should join us today.